What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video. So today we're going to check out the weapons you can build in the workshop and then we'll talk about the weapons you can buy with gold or silver that are easy to get and really good. That way you can kind of decide, hey, if I don't have any better weapons, which one should I start building or which one should I buy with my gold or silver? So we're going to talk about that. Hopefully this helps you out. Then we're going to do some gameplay with this hanger. We got a hanger set up with some of the weapons you can either build or buy. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. That would really help me out. Share this with your friends. And if you don't mind, watch this video to the end. And hey, you'll get to see some cool stuff and hopefully it'll be very helpful. So let's get into the workshop. So the first thing that comes to mind, we see the redeemers in the workshop. Guys, redeemers are amazing. These things hit really hard guys really hard these are old weapons but they pack a punch they're currently one of my favorite heavy weapons they are a tier 4 weapon which is awesome so you can't go wrong with these things all right next we have the ember the flamethrowers we got the medium the heavy and the light flamethrowers here in the workshop these things are very devastating very hard hitting weapons they do kind of uh bend a little bit when you shoot them so you got to aim ahead they're very hard to use at a distance but amazing at close range next we've got the pulsars and we got the magnetars which is the medium and the light version and you can build both of those in the workshop they have a 600 meter range they have lockdown these are just really good weapons. You can you can play mid-range brawler with them. You can play mid-range support. You can play short-range brawler. They got a five-second reload time. You can't complain about the Pulsars and the Magnetars. They're just phenomenally good. Next, we have the Viper, which is a heavy weapon. I love these weapons. They hit very hard, but they do have a 10-second reload time. That might turn some people off, but... Viper is pretty freaking awesome, to tell you the truth. I like these a lot. Next, we have our Scourge, our Spark, and our Calamity. And these are the electric Tesla weapons, I call them. That's the medium, the heavy, and the light version. And these are phenomenal weapons, but they do have a three-second lock-on time. As long as the robots you're fighting don't have stealth, these things hit very hard, especially at close range. The closer you get, the harder these hit. They're brutal weapons. When you don't have a whole bunch of meta that has stealth, Calamity Spark and Scourge are freaking awesome. Next, we have the Shredders, guys. Shredders are really cool light weapons. I like these a lot. They hit very hard at close range. They have lockdown. They have a five second reload. Nice little weapons, guys. They're basically the light version of the Punchers, which are not in the workshop. But anyways, let's check out something else next. Now, the next thing worth looking at is the Scatter, the Havoc, and the Devastator. That's the medium, the heavy, and the light. And these are close range weapons that have a 200 meter range and they hit very, very, very hard, but they do have a little bit of a longer reload time. But guys, these things are brutal beasts. All right, these things are brutal. Definitely worth checking these out if you're trying to build some new weapons for your bots. Um, I see we have a Hornet on the list. Hornets are very nice. They do have a really long reload time, but they do huge damage from a distance. This is something you want to play from, you know, 600 meters away. You don't want to get up close and brawl because the reload time is terrible. Um, maybe for like team deathmatch, the Hornets are worth having. That's a heavy weapon and they're just very brutal on the damage. Now we also have the Wasp, which is the medium version of these weapons. And these are also really good. Same deal. Great for mid-range, standing back at 500 or 600 meters and dealing huge damage fast, but very long reload times. Next, we have the Volt, the Weber, and the Gauss. I mean, if you like sniping, if your goal is to stand way far back in the back and snipe people, these might be something you want to look at. I mean, I don't think these weapons are going to be for everybody, right? These aren't really something I recommend you build unless you're 100% dedicated to sniping it. Next, we're going to mention the Glacier, the Cryo, and the Rhyme. These are freezing rockets. They do have kind of a long reload time. That's the main reason I don't like these. They hit very hard, but you're going to sit there and have to wait for these to reload. And that's the main reason I don't, I don't really recommend them, but I do at the same time, if that makes sense. Next, we have the Avalanche, which is a heavy weapon. It's definitely not one of my favorites, but this is a, a 500 meter rocket system that has a six second reload so the reload time is pretty good the damage is pretty good 
Avalanche is kind of cool, guys. You might want to think about building that if you like rocket weapons. So those are the main ones I would look at in the workshop, but we're also going to mention a couple other weapons that you can either buy with silver or gold. The Punisher, Punisher T's, very good machine guns if you don't mind the 10 second reload, but they hit very hard, especially at close range. We got the Thunders. These things are super cheap to get and build, and they are brutal damage dealers. We got the Tehrans. I think these ones cost gold, but they're very cheap to upgrade compared to other weapons. They work great with Redeemers. I love these old weapons, guys. Tehrans and Redeemers are amazing. You can build the Redeemer in the workshop. We got the... Uh, what else was it? I guess that's about it. Those are the main weapons I recommend that are actually easy to get. So... We're going to go ahead and play some uh, games with this hangar right here. This pretty much has all those type of weapons set up. All the robots are around level 10 with workshop or easy to get weapons installed on them. So let's go do some gameplay and check this out. All right, let's go ahead and drop our Irochi down. And we're going to take him right to the center beacon. And we're going to try and make some red dudes, some dead dudes. So oh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so hopefully I got somebody to back me up in center. Now, we want to save the other ability if we can, because I know we're about to start taking fire. So now we're going to save it to try and stay alive. Let's beat this guy up from back here. Oh, someone's kicking my butt. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and leave. I'm locked down. Crap sandwiches. Move, move, move. We want to smash this guy and get his beacon. Now, these weapons are really hard hitting up close. These are really made to be at close range like this. All right, so he's a blitz. He's in his little ability, so he's going to be really hard to take down. So we're just going to do what we can. We're going to use our healing module, and we're going to get him, right? We're going to get him. Unfortunately, I think he's got a buddy over here, so we might lose. We killed him. Yes, we killed him. We qu killed him. But when Blitz is in that ability with the Clive Vicious pilot, he is super hard to kill. Right now, we've only got... Oh, my God. That turd smashed me. All right. Let's go ahead and bring in our Fafnir. We got the Punisher T's. These are such good weapons. It's not even funny. All right. So, somebody's over here trying to steal our stuff. Here, they, here comes the nasty red dudes. We're going to shred them up with these things. I love these old weapons, honestly. They're, they're super good. They are super good. Uh, looks like somebody has stolen our center. So what we're going to do is walk towards center. Let's go ahead and light up his shield. If they start shooting me, I'll go up in the air and fly. Good job, team. Smashed. Smashed. Now we're going to go ahead and reload. All right, we're going to get this beacon back. Now I'm going to tell you pretty much all the weapons I recommended in the workshop there are all really good. So let's go ahead and get up on the, in the air. I don't have the shield breaker pilot, so I'm going to wait for his shield to end. We're going to smash him into the last stand. Let's go worry about this one for a minute since he's not really targetable. Let's kill this guy real quick. And then, then we'll turn around and finish off the Hades. Right? We're going to go ahead and... Uh, where'd the Hades go? I don't know. We're going to go ahead and use that thing, and hopefully it makes me stay alive. Remember, these are a little bit lower robots, lower level, so they're not going to survive very good. They're all going to die kind of fast because they're in level 10 in Champion League, but I don't know. I mean, we're trying to find out uh, weapons that work for average players you can build. It's more about the weapons than the bots, but I decided to use lower level bots just to kind of demonstrate. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. But we're going to see what we can do. Unfortunately, I'm being trashed by an Arthur. We're hitting that guy pretty hard, though. All right, come on. Reload, reload, reload. So this is a level 10 Fenrir, which is pretty good, but uh, no match for this freaky Arthur, man. Oh, he stomped me. Let's bring in our Arthur. Let's check this out. Let's take our Arthur against their Arthur. We're going to smash these guys in the center. Our team is doing really well. All right, we're going to go ahead and close our doors since he's shooting at me. Our goal is to break this guy's shield. If they get close, I'm going to go ahead and hit him with the butt blast. All right, how is he? How? Holy crap, that guy's weapons are hitting hard. That's not even right. Run out of ammo, dude. Come on, come on. I know you got to be out of ammo. Come on, come on. We'll hit him with the butt blast. He's in range. I can't believe they took out my Titan that fast. That's crazy. 
All right, we're going to bring in Lancelot. And unfortunately, these guys have some really strong, uh, really strong stuff here. What did that to me? Something took away a bunch of my health pretty much right away. Now, I don't know how they pulled that off. I must have got butt blasted by that uh, Titan there. All right, come on. Let's kill it. Let's kill it. So, see how hard these weapons were hitting, though? I mean, we did very good as far as how much damage that just did. So, what we need to do is hit our healing module again because we're, we're kind of low on health. The nice things about these weapons, though, is we got lots of nice range. But, yeah, I think trying to play level 10 robots in Champion League, that's about the bare minimum. Like, that's barely, 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 barely good enough. And you got to have some skill and do really well. Or you're probably going to get stomped with level 10 stuff. But you really need to start getting your, your robots and weapons in the Mark II range when you're in Champion, I think. But level 10 will do the trick if that's all you got. If that's all you got, it'll work. I see a lot of Arthurs. Oh, no. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we win. We win. That was a lot of fun. We got to win on that one. I tried to play a couple other games today, but matchmaking has not been good to me. I just played a team deathmatch game where within 1 minute and 42 seconds, the guys on my team died 15 times. How do you give up 15 kills in less than two minutes? How do you give up 15 kills in less than two minutes? It's unbelievable. You would just watch one guy run into a group of enemies and explode. One guy by himself, first five or six dudes. Then the next guy would run in. The next guy would run in. The next guy would run in. 15 kills given up in less than two minutes. These guys must think they're Rambo or something. Guys, don't go Rambo. Don't go Kamikaze. You got to play with tactics and skill or you're going to get stumped. There's so many guys that play a team deathmatch and they'll just run all by themselves into the entire group of enemies thinking, hey, I'm going to destroy them all by my, I'm going to take on all six by myself. And you just blow up and then they do it over and over again. I don't understand how some people don't learn, but guys, you got to you got to play smart. But bottom line, running by yourself into a group of five or six enemies who are all going to shoot you and blow you up pretty much instantly. That's probably one of the worst things you can do. So come on, play smart, guys, play smart. Anyways, I think that wraps this video up. All these weapons are very good. They're definitely worth getting. I have a lot of fun with them. So you know, eventually you might get better stuff and you're going to replace it. But these are great to have for now. Some of these weapons are even awesome in Champion League. When you, when you level them up high enough, they'll just get in there and they'll wreck people. So bottom line, very good weapons. Maybe build some of these, right? Maybe build some of these if you don't have anything better. Because, hey, you can't go wrong with any of these to tell you the truth. But that wraps this one up. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys are amazing. And we will catch you next time, all right? Lightning out. See ya.